Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Broadcast failed. I think I'm. Sorry. Hold on. Yeah. I need to charge this. Ah. Okay. Uh. Anyway, Facebook's out today. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're gonna get started with um with handstands. Handstands three. I can really just grab. Um, let me grab a charger. Okay, we're gonna do the handstands three. Just come with me real quick, so I don't leave you, leave you hanging. Let me grab my charger, which I believe is right. I think that's not it. Hold on. All right. Oh, sorry about that. Just let me grab my charger so I can get everybody else involved. Handstands three. This is our third third day on handstands. Cool, I got one person there. So it's good to get you guys live. But if you're watching after, cool, thanks for your patience. And then pretty good one today. So we're we're gonna be squeezing I tried to do um we're gonna be squeezing our legs. And we got a couple different exercises for that. Oh, excuse me. Two people, right on, right on. Let's get, let's just get this up and going. Handstand three. Hopefully it works. If not, then we're out. Then it's okay. Nope. Thanks, Facebook, for wasting our time. Okay. <laughs> cool. So, what you'll need today for this video is a roller or. block or anything that you can squeeze between your leg so anything think of just anything around that you can squeeze because what you'll need is instead of just squeezing the feet together I don't think that gets it there's gonna be a top a couple different places we're gonna put it between our feet okay and we're gonna squeeze there and so what this is gonna do is it's gonna strengthen the whole lower half, which becomes our upper half when we're in a handstand. So we've talked about your hands now being your feet, right? When you're in a handstand, you want to grip the ground, rotate the elbows inward in order to activate all the muscles, the inner arms, especially instead of just the upper arms. Because if you're just the upper arms, you're going to, you're going to fall forward. That's why people flip over when they try to do a handstand. Um, but when you have a nice strong core, so look how it's trimming up my, my waist too. Like if you look back at other videos, I'm starting to, to really lean out, trim out because we're doing all this yoga and stuff. So, so it's working. Stick with us. Uh, download the app, fightfreeness.com. And um, so what we want to do is we're rotating our hands now. We're rotating and now our feet become our hands. So now, and then when we lock out our chest, we're rotating our chest and pushing through the shoulders with that shrug. But the final portion is squeezing the feet and thighs together. When the feet come together, the thighs come together. This comes together. This tightens the pelvis and the whole uh, pelvic floor which then activates the whole lower half of the abs so you're gonna really work the core and work the abs by using your feet by involving the feet okay so we're gonna do what we did yesterday which if we did it right now would be pretty easy and we'd be able to do a lot more but we're gonna add to it by putting this between our feet and between our knees okay so there's two two places we're gonna do that and then I've got the roller so I kind of like the, the roller in, in the in the, the size because it matches up my hips. So I'm gonna use a roller instead, maybe a block would still work too, right? A block would probably work better. Uh, you know, it just depends on the size of your hips. So just just be aware of that, okay? So get something that's the size of your hips and that'll be that'll work better. And then from there, and then when we go inside, same, same thing, size of the hips, so cool. I'm gonna use this because I just like the, the shape of it and it's kind of good with the arches there. I can kind of wrap my toes around it. Okay, so that's that's cool too. All right, so let's get it down first by, by sitting here while we're here in our boat pose. We're squeezing our feet together, okay? And just extend your legs out straight. And squeeze and hold, wrap your toes. So this is what we want to do once we get up into the handstand. 
right? Yesterday, you probably experienced your feet were flailing all over the place. You're falling to the right, falling to the left. But today, we're going to squeeze and contract our core. So let's activate these muscles first. Be aware of what we're squeezing. And then when we get up there, it's going to be a lot easier. We're going to float right up because it's something we've done already now three times. Bring the knees in. Go ahead and bring it up to your, your uh, to the middle of your thighs or your knees right here. Squeeze right here. Squeeze your knees together, hands together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, well, while squeezing with the, the, the knees like this, it's extend and, and go straight. Again, touch your low back down. Inhale. Squeeze the thighs together, flex the toes. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale. Still squeezing. Really feeling the burn in the inner thighs. Exhale. This is a good one, right? Inhale. Really squeeze. You feel the lower abs, lower abs, lower abs. And exhale. I don't do this enough. I love, I love every, every time we do a video, I always come up with something like, hey, let's do this. Matches up. Exhale, squeeze, contract. Works the whole inner thigh. Maybe get that inner thigh gap going. Inhale. Exhale. Just make sure, again, it's the size of your hips. Um, otherwise, otherwise, it kind of, you, know, you don't want that. So, uh, cool. So, that's good. We've activated the core. Let's go back to the feet one more time. And do the feet one more time. Same thing. Right there. Inhale. Squeeze the feet together. Knees are apart. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Close. Good try. Inhale. Open your aura. Breathe into it. <laughs> Breathe into those muscle fibers, into the blood. Uh, and it does, it, it magnifies your aura, your heart's, your heart's aura because the blood has more clarity, more, you know, what, what not to kind of, so keep working, a couple more, inhale, exhale, all right, that's good. Let's go up now, all right, so let's go up. Uh, did we get our arms warmed up a little bit? Let's do a little bit of like a headstand real quick for you guys that are just here. Put your head down. Pick your knees up. Go ahead and hold for there. Play around. Stay there. Uh, rock your head up and down. Side to side. Strengthen the neck. Oh. I'm telling you, every day you do this, you're more like... You're more childlike. You're, 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 you're gonna feel like, oh, I, I could do it like every day, just a little bit. Every day, just a little bit. Every day, just a little bit. Don't think of it like it's an extreme workout. You know, don't make it something extreme. Like, oh, this is a workout. It's I gotta, no, just do, just play around. You know, <sighs> chill on your head. Of course, I got a nice mat. Of course, you need mats and all that stuff, and you know. But your head's gonna get tougher. It will. Your everything, the, the bone starts to de uh, get more dense and all that stuff. Okay, so we're gonna go up. Uh, let's do headstand, and then we'll go up to the up to the wall for the last one. Yeah, let's. Uh, no, let's just go up first. Just go up. So what we did yesterday from the hands, we're gonna kick our way up, and then touch our feet to the wall, and then come down slowly, as slow as you can. And then we'll bring our feet into it after that. So let's go, fingers spread wide. Inhale, come up high onto your toes. Up, 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 lean into your hands. Get nice and light. Exhale, bend into the knees. At the bottom of the exhale, hop your way up. Or float on up, okay? Do try to bring your feet together, knees together here still too. All right, just get comfortable here first. Exhale, look towards your toes. Pull your belly in. Inhale. Back bend. Exhale. Slow on the way down. Whew. Okay, I didn't really mean to come down, but uh, there you go. Cool. All right, just kind of get getting warmed up there. Stretch the wrists. Thumb down, pinky high. Pinkies down, thumbs high. 
Medusa. Okay. Uh, one more time. Now bend yourself down slowly to your head. Can you do that? Put a put a towel down. Put a maybe a block. If you do have a block, a block would be nice because it's kind of padded. So you can put your head down on a block. I'm gonna do that actually. I'm gonna put my head down on the block and then I'm gonna come off of that. Uh, and you know you're in a good place by just putting your head on the first and then hopping up. So put your head down on the block first. My head's on the block so I know where I'm going. Okay, and then hands down and then you can put your knees down and hop your way up there and then slowly come down from there. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, and then we're gonna slowly come down if we can. Exhale, or inhale first. Feet together, exhale slowly on the way down. Place your head down, make sure you're looking, you're relaxing on the crown of your head, you're not looking down. Ooh, maybe you fell, I don't know. Okay, all right. Um, if you can push out, push out. Maybe for some of you guys, you are strong there. So you want to do a couple push-ups, you can. That'll help build your handstand, of course. And otherwise, you can slowly come down. So bring your feet down, just wherever you are. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Tuck your knees in, hug them in. Remember what we did yesterday? Should be a little bit easier now. Cool. You can stay there. You can move that out the way. Put your head back down. We'll work that a little bit. Walk your feet in. Hug your feet in. Slow on the way down. Two. Three. Four. Hold it at that hard part. Five. Six. Seven. Be nice and relax. Eight. Nine. Inhale. Exhale. Cool, you can come all the way up, squeeze your feet together here in the handstand, you got your feet, feet are tight. Exhale, come on down. We should have done that with this. Let's bring this into it. Nice. So let's bring this into it, squeeze this while you're in the headstand. And then it should, well, you know what? Let's try to bring it up with us in a handstand. Should we do that? No. Headstand. Headstand first. Just chill. Kind of rough your head, ha hair up a little bit, the blood in there. Kind of just rub, rub, rub on the side, on the top, around here, on the front. It's really good for the blood. Keeps the hair and ha everything healthy too. Just, just tapping, light tapping or fluffing of the hair, the follicles. So just remember that, gentlemen, ladies kids, elderly people, I don't know, wherever you are, just remember that your hair, it's all blood. Relax your forehead. A lot of times you get stuck here because of everything in life. We just, ah, and forehead and then just, it burns up all your hair. That's why gentlemen, you This is really good. Just do that regularly for yourself. It'll help relax you. Do it before bed. It'll help you, it'll help calm your thoughts. Just, t just doing this to yourself. On your eyes. A little secret there, right there. You calm and relax your nervous system, your face. We got too much going on in here. We get too aged in all this emotion. That's what that's why we look old, you know? So <sighs> smile, feel like a child, play around, soften, relax. No fucks. All right, where are we at? So, um, headstand, let's go back on it. We'll bring more blood back into the head, strengthen the neck, the, the cerebral spinal fluid, all that connection between the senses and the eyes, through the neck, the back of the head, everything like that. Um, do la oblum, <laughs> I've got a lot there. All right, let's keep going. So I'm gonna put my feet between here and then we're gonna squeeze this as we're in the headstand and I wanna lift this up and just keep working on that. It's really from here, it's gonna activate into the pelvis and that's gonna activate the lower, just the, the freaking lower the lower abs, you know what I mean? That hard spot, everyone know what I mean? Right. 
the bladder. Bladder holds fear and all that stuff, sexual energy, all that stuff. So this is an important spot. Squeeze that, exhale, okay, and uh, inhale, lengthen. Let's do it. Put your head down, tripod, make sure it's a triangle, a triangle so your hands are close to your shoulders. Put your head down, squeeze this here, if you can pick it up with your feet. Okay, squeeze it, extend it up, pick it up here, okay. Exhale, lower it down. Extend your legs out straight if they can. If they're bent, that's okay to tap your toes. Squeeze your feet together. Just pick it up, touch it down. Two, three, four. Try to breathe. Inhale, relax, relax, relax. Exhale. Get a couple in, even if it's one, maybe it's two. Maybe you did three. Okay, that's good right there. Can you drop to your knees? Shake your head out. Make noise. Relaxes your nervous system and your brain. Again, all this stuff is you're by yourself at home. Maybe maybe you're laughing at me. You're like, Nikki goes, Nikki goes crazy. Shake it up because it's just it's energy and it gets stuck and we get. <laughs> what does it matter? Nothing matters. It's all meaningless. What are we all doing here? Come on now. All right. So squeeze your knees together. <laughs> knees together now. Okay. Hold it right here. Knees together. You're you're here. Breathe into your knees. Uh. uh. Forget about the pain, forget about whatever. Just breathe into it, it will get better. Ooh, okay, now headstand, now let's pick our knees up and just tap our toes, but this is between our knees, so it's gonna really work the inner thighs and the, the lower, and then make everything look sexy there, you know? That's kidding. Uh, tap your toes, there you go. Well, like this, it's like on my stomach. The thing goes like right into my stomach, right there. So, tap your toes, squeeze, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, elbows in, eight, breathing, nine, inhale, you can bring your legs up, keep your feet together, we didn't do that on the last one, did we, huh? anyway, squeeze your feet together, knees together, thighs together, breathe, get comfortable, Slow on the way down. Alright, that feels good. Okay. We gotta do one more. Breathe. Relax. Inhale. Arms up. Smile at the sun. Thank you, sun. Beautiful God-given sun giving light to the plants that turn oxygen into me so I can breathe. Sun gives it light to everything. Thank you, son. Appreciation. Mm, divine light. Mm, creation, that's the source. Mm, smile, thank you. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay. We got to get up there. Come on. This is what we're doing. This is why we're here. Handstand, last one, okay? Feet together. Let's kick up with this between our feet first. And then we'll bring it down and we'll rest and then we'll put it between our knees. Who's that? We'll put it between our knees and uh, and then we'll finish out. Thank you, son. Yeah, be appreciative, be glad, be happy. Be happy for your sake. Because again, look at the emotional scale. Wake up and be like, hmm, where am I on the emotional scale? I feel sad, I feel angry, I feel resentment for that thing that happened yesterday or last week or this mood or that or this person did that to me about the... It doesn't matter. Forget about it. Forgive and forget. No help for today, right? <laughs> What's helping me today? 
pull me forward. Somebody help me forward. Help me, somebody. <laughs> somebody get it. <laughs> right? That's what we're doing. All right? We're building ourselves up. Let's get it. So we're, we're going to handstand. We're going to feel so light. Ooh, we're going to feel so light. We're going to feel so light. Get it? Get it? Get it? Oh, let's get it. All right. So feet together. Squeeze your feet. Let's get it up there. Just hold on to it. Get comfortable upside down. Come down slowly and squeeze your feet together. Those are the three videos, okay? Do those three points and you shall be good. And, we'll, you know, whether you do it gracefully or not, ask, ask the light. Say, light, give me grace. Light, give me grace. Light, let's say it together. Light, give me grace. Light, give me grace. Light, I have grace. I have grace. I am grace. Let's go. Ooh. Squeeze your feet and put it down like this on first. Let's grab it, pick it up, hop it up there, inhale, exhale, and on our way up, hop. Hold it, walk your feet up, they go straight. You're against the wall, right? Stay against the wall, walk your feet up. Look at your toes on your exhale. Keep exhaling, Shh, that's okay. Squeeze your feet together. Shh. Maybe you can bring it out. Shh. Inhale, first, lengthen, push away. Fill the belly, look down, inhale into the shoulders, the chest, the hands, the elbows, the fingers. Okay, we're gonna exhale, come down as slow as you can with the, between our feet, bend the knees, that's okay, bend the knees. graceful maybe it was a little more graceful than before I'm sure maybe you came down earlier than me I don't know I was up there for a while it's all good we'll get there those are the pointers right those three points just remember those three points and when we do this something between your feet or just think about feet together squeeze your feet together every time you get up there because again that lower core work it down here Shh, work it work it work it work something down here Shh. okay we're going to here next put it between our knees Shh. okay Squeeze those feet together, put it between the knees. Build that lower core, that lower core connecting to the upper core. Last one. Between the knees now. Well, it'd be, it should be a little bit easier actually. Um, but it will be focusing more into our core. So it's a little bit easier, but it's focusing more into our core. That last one's kind of difficult. I don't know how you guys do it, but let's go. Between the knees or between the thighs. Grip it here. Okay, and uh, over the knees, let's go ahead and come up, come on up. If you need to do it from a headstand position, maybe a handstand's hard for you, that's okay too. Do it from a headstand for this last one if you're still here. Uh, otherwise, try it from the handstand, then you can even lower down and continue from a headstand if you'd like to. And uh, that will actually work a lot. It'll transfer from being out here with the handstand and the shoulders right into, boom, now you're into the neck, to the head, strengthening the neck and the chest here. So that, it, let's let's try that. This is the last one, right? Very last one. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it between. I'm gonna have it between my knees. I'm gonna bend my knees pretty much the whole time. I'll try to straighten as I inhale. Bend the knees as I exhale. Slowly come. No, no, no. Exhale, and then as I bring the knees down, I'm gonna slowly bring down to my head, and then that's when I'll bring my knees down too. We'll tap, and then we'll go in and out. We can kind of go in and out there at the end, yeah. Something like that. So handstand. Inhale. Straighten the legs with the between your knees. Exhale, bend your knees and bring your head down to the floor to a headstand. And then let's work about five times. We'll just tap our toes five times and just, you know, work into what you want to do more, whatever. We'll get up there. Let's go. You can put this here if you want to land your head onto something. Or put a, a, a something there so you put your head down. And inhale. 
squeeze your knees together. Exhale, bend your knees. Hopping up. Okay. Stay here. Between the knees, inhale, straighten. Walk the feet up. Maybe you can look at your toes for one as you exhale. You want to pull the belly in. Try to look both of my toes. Inhale. I'm going to stay here for a second because I feel like I can. Except my foot's caught onto that. Anyway, come back up. <laughs> Get back up there. Come on. All right, we're going to lower down, lower down to a headstand, or you can drop down, whatever, wherever you're at. Lower down to a headstand with your knees bent. Exhale. Drop your head down. Okay, in a headstand. Here, we'll tap our toes down. Slow. Try that five times. Two. Three. You can push up out of it. Here's one. Bend the knees and kick straight up to push out of it. Lower down. Bend the knees. Come on. Help. That's it. However much you did, let me know. Let me know how it went for you. And if, uh, if any of you guys have, I don't know, maybe an extra camera, or uh, after this, Film yourself doing it again one more time. Just film yourself and send it to me. Direct message would be cool to have. Kind of like a where you're at now and if you're following along, where you're gonna be later, you know, just to, or hold on to it. But um, but it would, it would be cool to see your transformation. Because um, like I said, I'm trying to build a team. A team of superheroes. Um, yeah. It's about the light, you know, light and dark. Whatever you take it as, you know. But the light of intelligence, positivity, like I, I ain't got no, I, I don't have any worries about giving this stuff out because it's, it's emotional based, right? So if we're on this frequency, I wish I had like a diagram for you. Like love is up here, right? Highest frequency, right? Um, on the spectrum, it's, it's close to like, you know, ultraviolet white light, ultraviolet light in terms of the spectrum of color, right? So, you know, uh, love, happiness, joy, uh, content and boredom in, in the middle so if you're ever content and bored it's like hey yo spark up something get yourself up there whatever makes you happy butterflies dogs go look at some dogs online you know the, you know whatever to get you happy more happiness follow that happiness follow more happy 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 whatever makes you happy the world will pay you you'll get more money there's more money up here whenever you're happy some people do it uh, deceptively. They're deceptive, you know, and they get money. But but that's not the majority. The majority of people are just following their happiness, okay? It just makes them happy. It's whatever, you know? So don't think that it's bad or good. More money is up here. So be happy, love, happiness, joy, uh, kindness, generosity. Like, oh, it's okay. Like, whatever. It doesn't bother me. Peace, peace, generosity, uh, you know, openness, trust. It's before the action. It's before any of it even happens. You want to you want to feel that before any of that happens. Before anything happens, and and you're going to be walking into openness. You're going to be walking into trust. You're going to be walking into confidence. You're going to be walking into love. You're going to be walking into kindness and generosity and all that stuff. So let's keep practicing up here again. I'm building a team. Emotional, everything, physical, mental, emotional. Let's keep going with it. Uh, the light, all that light spectrum, chakras, sound. Um, it's all scientific. It's all there. Yoga, Tai Chi, Qi Gong, um, and then again, also doing everything else. I, I know I'm talking about like very spiritual, and metaphysical stuff, but I do want to get into the knife stuff, into the all of that too. So boxing, kickboxing, because you know it's like we still have all that to do. And if you want to work into that, please let me know. Mention it. 
I got to talk with you guys. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing, you know? So let me know. Let me know. Let's keep going and message me. Go to fightfearless.com. We're setting up a thing where I'm going to be doing Zoom calls with you guys and talking with you guys one-on-one. -on -one. So if you want to sign up for that, go to the Fight Fearless Facebook and uh, and you can um, you can I think you can sign up for that. I, that maybe that's not set up yet. You can message me. Message me anytime. Just be like, yo, let me set up a call. So let's set up a call. It's free, completely on me. And we're just gonna talk. We're gonna figure out what your spiritual powers are, where your possibility is, and let's get you closer to it. Okay? We'll connect with your higher self. I'll see you guys. Much respect. Fight fearless.